Hello, my name is Rukana Quills and welcome back to what will hopefully be the final episode of RimWorld Alpha 16. We are now ready to start uh, packing up things to go to our final destination. Just to remind you all, and I really haven't learned to open this before I start the episode, all of this series. But anyway, our final destination is right here. So what we will do is we will load up these drop pods with food and people and we will launch them over nearby and then caravan the rest of the way. But for that to happen we really need these transport pods to be built. And since we have all of the camp fuel we are going to need for the time being, I'm just gonna free up people to do other things. Uh, we ended up not needing the the hydroponics and stuff, uh, but we do need the assembly bench because we ran out of components. The cranky daisy is helping us out with that. Unfortunately, that also means most of our steel is being used for it. Does everyone? Yeah, everyone has. Mining as a last minute priority. It should be fine. And these fine meals, please go back to 10, multiples of 10, so that we can store them in the freezer. In the, uh, yeah, refrigerators, I mean. So people will continue to improve their situation. Granite blocks, also not something we need at the moment. We already have all of the walls we wanted to build built. What we really need is mining and components. All of them. So, everyone will be coming on this one. Including Narda. Who is still alive despite the life expectancy of a cat being 10 years. And she's 12. No oh dear! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Uh, I wish uh, this would tell me the years that have passed. Ooh, Red Fox Revenge! That's the problem with uh, trying to kill predators. Tanner, can you take up a weapon and help out over here? Oh, okay, Blade got things done. So, yeah, we killed the fox. Good! Perfect. We don't have medical beds, but we have doctors. So, Blade's own bed should do it for him. Just a little bite, so nothing, nothing major. He will heal up from that. As soon as possible. Ooh, we got some components, even though what we need is mostly steel, but uh, don't take those components. I mean, no reason not to. I think that will be the, the vein we get. So one of the transport pods is done, and they are slowly getting built. It's mostly the steel now. Uh, if we have... The components needed. I would actually lower that necessity because we are not going to be building any new way stations. There's no need to load up on components, we just need to get enough of them that uh, we can continue building the transport pods. And as far as I know, yeah, they they all have their necessary components. It's mostly just steel going now. Steel, hunting, cooking meals. At least everyone can easily do it. Hauling is also a thing that is happening a lot that I don't really think it needs to. So I am going to lower hauling across the board. And increase mining because that is what we really need to do. We need people working the mines. 
can cancel that because apparently that vein was just a little L-shaped one. But why does Taters keep... Hmm. I guess she's cleaning. That's very weird, but okay. Then we're doing the heroic job of continuing all that steel mining. Which is very good and allows Blade and other builders to make the pods. Come on now. Y'all can do it. I believe in you. Now, it might be that this episode will be a little short. I don't think y'all will mind because we will be ending the series, right? But at the end I also would like to uh, talk to you a little bit about what is coming and the future of RimWorld on the channel. Because you may have noticed that I do have a Beta 18 series. I don't think that series will be ended. Um, I think I would rather wait for the release version, the uh, version 1.0. Uh, but I don't know how long that will take and I'll talk more about it once we are looking at the credits. For now, we are going to load up the pods! Hooray! And to load them up, we are going to select everyone. Oops, not everyone. Narda is confused, so she can't can't be selected to come. So we will wait until she is no longer confused. And hopefully, she won't get eaten by anything. There's nothing to eat her. Good. Well, I guess we have to wait, and might as well keep people busy with the mining. No reason not to. This is a rather nice little colony. There we go. Narda is no longer confused. So we can load the drop pods with everyone. And we can start filling it up with food. Why do I want to fill it up with mostly food? Well, that is because if something happens, uh, we do want to be able to come back here. And we can't do that if we don't have any food. I'm also taking some medicine, just in case. Uh, if I take the portable stove, I might as well take... S oh, I do take camp fuel. Okay. And uh, sleeping bags, not many of them, but uh, they'll do. And yeah. That is it for what we want to take. There we go. I'm assuming, of course, our ship has, you know, uh, growing beds and stuff to take us to the stars and to the nearest inhabit inhabited civilized planet. Because this is an inhabited planet, but it's not very civilized. At least, not as far as I would call it civilization. There's tribes, there's pirates, oh, lots of pirates. And uh, there are some other colonies that are at our tech level. Uh, Outlanders, I think. Trade ships come by, but they don't bother uh, landing or anything. There are no spaceports. Yeah. This, this isn't civilization. We want to go to the core worlds, or as uh, Rimworld calls them, the glitter worlds. And that is our objective all along. As soon as they finish loading up the pods. Some people are wondering, I think. No, it's not because they can't haul. Frankier Daisy, the last one. <laughs> oh, poor Frankier Daisy. She has to deal with all the corn. Should have put the door here for her. Oops. You think I would have learned that from all the other colonies, right? I did that in all of them. 
but not this one. Amen. One more corn stack to load in. And then I think we will be good. Tenor? Yes. The transport pods have been loaded. Time to launch. And as you can see, the destination is well within our means to reach. So we will come right over here. Whee! Here we go. They have arrived. But... Oh, we mobilized. Too much weight. Then I guess we will set up camp. There we go. And... Um, well, let's actually set up the camp then. We have... So much corn. So, Blade can go back to I'm gonna... Yeah, do that. So... Blade is good... Uh, how was it? Yeah, right. That would be the period key that allows me to move to the next one. So, here we go. Everything going down. There, there, there. Awesome. So now, Taters, please deploy the tent. And we are going to install the sleeping bags there. And some random sleeping spots over as such. And the stuff outside. Yep, that works. It would work if people were awake. That's incredible. Okay, so people want to sleep, but that is not going to happen, because I am going to reform the caravan, and I'm taking with us as much as they can carry now. So that would be all our meals, rice, why? Huh. So they can carry that, they just couldn't carry the... The tent and such. Okay, so let's keep going. This is it, guys. The end of this series is nigh. Now we can check everyone. Narda is in, and now we can get on board of the ship and escape the planet. Everyone in this area will escape the ship, everyone else will be left behind. Confirm. As you get on board the ship, you are greeted by the crew with open arms. They seem to be glad they could at least they could take at least one person with them. These colonists escaped, played and murder among them, nobody was left behind, and the AI will now try and guide the ship to safety. Ah. And that is it, people. The end of the game. I think this is the only song in RimWorld that has actual lyrics. Isn't it a nice song? At all of the volunteers and the credits and everything. But, like I said, I wanted to talk to you about the future. As I said before, RimWorld version 1.0 will be coming eventually. Who knows when? I don't. But it might not be long enough to complete a beta 18 uh, series, so. I guess I'm just dropping that series, to be honest, and returning to RimWorld either if I feel like starting another series or uh, version 1.0 comes out. As for the rest of the channel, I already have three games that I want to play, um, but I'm not entirely sure if all of them will be good fits for the channel, 
and I know at least one of them, is a pretty small and short game. So it might be a little difficult to continue a series with that one, uh, in which case there is another one I have in mind, which is Stardew Valley. But that has the same problem as RimWorld, that the multiplayer update is going to come, and I'm not entirely sure if old saves will be compatible with the new update. So that might derail the series? Uh, let me know if you would mind that, that if I start a Stardew Valley series and the multiplayer update comes out meanwhile, if you would mind terribly if the series got derailed to restart on the multiplayer update. I don't plan on playing the multiplayer update as a multiplayer game, because the multiplayer update actually adds a lot to the base game, not just multiplayer. So yeah, let me know what you think, subscribe for these new series coming up, and check out my Patreon if you'd like to support what I'm doing there. Until then, enjoy the credits. Yeah.